Hi, my name's Jim. I'm one of the biscuit makers here at Fat Milo's Family Kitchen. Today we're going to look at how the biscuits get made. First thing we're going to start with is 10 cups of AP flour. Next we're going to add a half cup of sugar. To that we're going to add a quarter cup of baking powder. Now we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. Next we're going to whisk all those dry ingredients together to make sure they're well incorporated. Next I'm going to divide a pound of frozen butter and lightly coat it with flour. Now I'm going to grate the butter in the food processor. Next we're going to toss the frozen grated butter with the flour mixture. You want to make sure to not overwork the butter right now. You want to keep the feathers separate. This is what is going to help create a flaky biscuit. These little feathers of butter will get create little layers of deliciousness in the flour as it bakes and it keeps the biscuits light and flaky. Making sure to break apart any larger clumps but you can see that the feathers are still pretty much intact and whole. I feel like a little squirrel when I'm doing this. Now we're gonna create a well in the flour mixture and add five cups of cold buttermilk. Now let's mix everything together. We're gonna to start with the spatula before we move over to using our hands. That looks good. We're gonna switch over to using our hand. We're gonna scrape everything off of the spatula. And start working it with our hands a little bit. Be careful not to overwork it. You wanna keep it kinda of loose. If you overwork it, you're gonna create gluten and that makes a tough, chewy biscuit. You don't want that, you just wanna keep it loose. Bring it together, clean off our hands. Now we're gonna turn the dough out onto a well-floured work surface. And begin flattening it out so we can roll it. As we're pressing out our dough, we wanna be conscious of not overworking it. Again, we don't wanna to create too much gluten in the dough. That'll make tough, chewy biscuits. Once we get it about an inch, inch and a half thick, I'm gonna divide it in half and then fold it over on itself and then press it out again and then I'm gonna roll it. 
Once you have the dough rolled out to about an inch and a half, two inches thick, you can start to cut the biscuits. You want to cut them close, pressing straight down, not twisting the biscuit cutter until it goes all the way down to the bottom. That way you won't seal off the edges of the biscuits and they will be able to rise fully as the steam is created when they bake. Once you have all your biscuits cut, you can start to lay them out on a parchment lined pan. You want to keep the biscuits a little close together so that heat stays trapped in between them and gives them, creates that steam to help them rise. Once you've cut and laid out all your biscuits in that first pressing, go ahead and gather up the remaining dough and lightly press it together and do it all again. You want to flatten it out. Again, trying not to overwork the dough here. Trying not to create too much gluten. I'm going to press it out. Divide it. Fold it over on itself. And then roll it out again to about an inch and a half, two inches. And cut another round of biscuits out. Now we're gonna put our biscuits into a 400 degree oven. Now we're gonna set our timer for eight minutes. And after eight minutes, we're gonna go out and rotate the pan. All right, it's been eight minutes. We're gonna rotate that pan now. Alright, we've rotated the biscuits. We're going to set our timer again for eight minutes. And after this eight minutes, they should be done. Alright, our second round of eight minutes is up and it's time to pull the biscuits out of the oven. After you let your biscuits cool for a little bit, you can enjoy them any number of ways, maybe with some sausage gravy or with some of our delicious strawberry freezer jam.